Hey folks, during the month of October, we are talking about the character trait of authenticity. I'd like to read you a verse, if I could, from James chapter 1, verse 22 and following. Here James says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man who observes his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, then he goes away and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. Being just a hearer of the word or a, a reader of books or a reader of blogs, you might have all the right hypotheses, the right uh, methodologies, the right theories, but it's a whole nother thing when you go and apply those things into the real world. People who try to do and not just hear oftentimes get slapped down, oftentimes makes mistakes. But in that process, authenticity is birthed because mercy is birthed by humility. Folks who make mistakes understand the need of mercy for themselves and for others in their household, especially their children. Some folks have all the right doctrine, all the right theology, and just packed together really neat, but they never do anything with it. And it's one thing to have all the right theology. It's another thing to take that and to apply it, to take it into the context of the world. When that happens, it can be pretty challenging. One of my favorite quotes is by Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, you might know this, uh, this quote, but it's so important to think about as we talk about authenticity. It says, It is not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of the deeds could have done them better. In other words, these are armchair quarterbacks trying to tell everybody else how they ought to be doing it, though they themselves are not. He goes on and says this, The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who is actually trying to do this stuff, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strides valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, or who at worst if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. That is a powerful, powerful quote that we should teach our kids, especially our sons, to know when you're out there doing it, you may fall short. And there'll be people there, usually inauthentic people, who haven't been in the arena who will tell you all that you're doing wrong. You should do this differently in homeschooling. You should raise your kids differently here, but they themselves are not doing it. Don't be discouraged by that. And don't uh, try to step back and just become inauthentic and act like they do. Be willing to make mistakes. Be willing to get uh, dusty, dirty, and bloody because when you do that, humility will reign in your heart. You'll give mercy and you'll grow in an authentic spirit, a genuine spirit before the Lord. Great quote, great scripture. Hope it brings comfort to you today. This is Kirk Smith with ICHEs. Take five.